What is going on guys? Nifty Bacon back on Car Mechanic Simulator. We're up to episode 10 and happy 4th of July. So since it's the holidays, I figured we could do both cars. How about that guys? Oh, I did get an RX-7 so we can do a rotary engine later. Uh, so what I was going to do is uh, I'm going to take both of these engines that we have here. They're one car V8s in both of them. I already did the suspension and the radiator on them. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take both of these engines out and create one engine with them, and then I'll even make it a uh, two-carb V8 because we haven't built one of those. Uh, and then we'll throw it in the uh, Corvette Stingray and then probably sell it, maybe drive it, put some wheels and tires on it, who knows. And then uh, if we have time, we'll do a V8 OHV 6P motor, which goes in these Daytonas. And it's almost got as much power as the supercharger does so that'll be a quite a fun engine and it's got a different sound to it so and hear what that sounds like so let's get into this guys because we have to be getting going on this <laughs> we have to be getting on going on this i don't know uh so i took the gearboxes already out of them so we'll start with this one oop stuck in the wall and uh we'll get it on the stand here tear this sucker apart and then we'll build these two engines. All right. Music might start playing here. I don't know. We will see. Yeah, I'm just going to tear these down real quick, try to repair them, and maybe make an entire engine out of it. So, kind of like a budget build, like we did. And, uh,. But we'll just throw two carbs on it because that actually the two carb v8 has a little bit more power than the one carb v8 so we'll give our corvette stingray a little bit more power a little bit more uh money worth and then we'll sell both well actually we'll sell the corvette and then i'll probably keep the daytona because i really wanted that one and the uh 6p motor in it so We'll definitely keep that one. Probably sell the Corvette. We'll find another one. We still have the uh, the newer Corvette, which has a supercharged uh, V8 in it. And it's a different, more modern engine in it. So we'll build that too. And then we got the RX-7, the rotary engine. There's the music. So we'll just do different engines. So that way it's not the same thing every time. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to do both of these engines. I just figured, hey, this sounds like a fun idea. Let's give this a shot, How shall we? I would think we would because we don't have to do the suspension on them because I already did that to try to like save some time. Plus, suspension's all the same anyway. Oop. Well, I hope your guys' uh, 4th of July is going good and continues to go well. Or if you haven't started it yet, I hope it is awesome for you guys. Have a nice chill day holiday. Or maybe if you're just enjoying it this weekend, definitely have a good time, man. Or if this is your 4th of July, just crack a beer and enjoy it. That's what we're all about here at Nifty Bacon. Special garage. <laughs> Fourth of July spectacular. I don't know if they would add anything on the fourth. Because I know on the PC version they added like a Christmas tree and Christmas tree lights for like Christmas in the shop. So they might do that for this as well for the consoles I'd imagine. Uh, I don't think they would do anything for the fourth though to decorate it. Who knows though. They might. We'll just have to be surprised. But I'm recording this the day before, so if it does show up, I'll have to show you the next episode of Porter. I'm definitely liking the comments, guys. I really like that. I had somebody say, like, hi, and I was like, what's up? <laughs> so. And uh, somebody was like, I'm new to the channel. I was like, welcome. And he was like, thank. And then another 
reply you. <laughs> I was like, nice. That was pretty good. Oh, shoot. There we go. But yeah, we got tons of projects, as you guys saw. In the last episode, we went to three barns and picked up tons of cars. Lots of projects. Pretty much the parking is pretty full. Uh, so that's why I'm pretty much selling cars now because I'm out of space and I don't want to spend $50,000 for a parking garage because actually in the toolbox, if you guys don't know, uh, let's see where it says here. It says, yeah, it's here at level 35, you get 50% off parking levels. So if you wait to get the parking levels when until you get to level 35 you won't have to spend as much on them if you're trying to save money you can do that because the extra levels right now or the extra level is like fifty thousand dollars i don't know if the next levels would be more or it'd be the same price i don't want to spend the money on it so uh we'll just have to sell cars and then We'll have space. It's kind of the whole point of the game. It's supposed to make a profit off of it, fix it up, sell it, make some money. Then we might do some uh, like story jobs or something later in the future, I guess. Change things up a little bit. I haven't really shown you guys, like, working on the body parts or adding glass and the headlights and taillights. I guess I just figure those are pretty self-explanatory. Pretty easy, but we could do some story jobs that have that or something. If you guys don't know how to do that yet. Because, uh, the interior part, when you, uh want to add things into it you have to actually go to disassemble and then assemble and then you can put the stuff in the in the interior which is kind of weird but <laughs> moving right along oh I forgot the flywheel and stuff I usually take that off Right, almost done with our first engine teardown. Doing pretty good here, guys. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and pull out the other engine. Nope, I'm gonna go over here. Just so excited to pull out, you know? That's just get excited when that happens, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, we need to add it. I know what I'm doing. Just hang on. We'll get it done. I didn't check if there's oil in this. I'm gonna get a cleaning charge? No, okay. Good. I didn't think they would. Usually these don't have. I guess we're gonna start with the bottom first on this one. How about that? I'll just do that. I'm not gonna be able to take out the pistons, obviously. <laughs> Let's take them out of the top, I guess. Time, just trying to do this quickly so we can get both these engines done and at least get the cars running and drive them both maybe and so you can hear what the uh, engine sounds like in the 6p motor it has a quite different quite a different sound to it pretty cool sound actually it's kind of over the top it sounds like a racing motor and it's like not much more, it's about as powerful as the supercharger. Oh, that's right, we can't take the piston out yet. Ew. I'm doing it backwards. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we clicked on it. Yeah, so we'll throw the two carb V8 loader in the uh, Stingray and give it a little extra power. So the customer we sell it to will uh, enjoy it. Have a pretty decent motor to enjoy and have some power. Show off to his friends.
you know. I'm getting good with these valve rods and uh, rockers. I've done so many of them. Here, I'm gonna zoom in. There we go. If you guys don't know about that, you can definitely uh, hit the uh, RT button and zoom in. So that way it doesn't back all the way out as much when you're taking stuff off. So you can kind of stay a little closer to it and be a little easier to take it apart. Of course, 150 percent unscrewing screwing is pretty uh, pretty nice makes things pretty fast makes it look like I'm just like amazing at taking these engines apart and putting them back together or wait no yeah I am I am amazing I am awesome at that yeah <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see. Maybe we'll do another supercharged one. I know that video was pretty popular. Of course, the uh, 6P motor in the D Daytona we're gonna put in there. It's pretty much got the same power as the supercharger, as I said before, and it's just, I think like 30 foot-pounds of torque less than the supercharger, but the horsepower is about the same, so it's pretty much like the same engine. It's kind of orange and kind of looks Hemi-ish, I guess, because that's what the Hemis are going to look like. They have an orange engine color to them. Once they give us the update for the Dodges and Challengers, which I haven't really, you know, said anything about that stuff as too much, because... I wasn't sure when they, you know, gave us the game if it was going to even have the DLCs. Like, from what I heard, it was going to be just the base game and everything. So, I really didn't think they were going to add DLCs and it was just going to be all those mods for the PC. But from what it sounds like, they're actually going to do the same thing as they did on PC, which I was hoping they were going to do. So, that's pretty nice to be able to do all the stuff that they they have and I was noticing also when you take the parts off you can probably paint the parts separate I don't know if we'd be able to paint the rims because I know that was an update and a mod to the the paint shop was that they were able to paint uh, individual parts on the cars like you could paint a fender or hood by itself without it being on the car, or, and then the update and DLC for the PC that they added was uh, being able to paint rims, so you could have different rim colors, which is pretty cool. So I don't know if we already have that now, because we don't, we're not to the paint shop yet, or they'll add that later, so something to look forward to if they do that. But it sounds like they're going to be doing it in the next couple months, like the updates, so that'll be nice. But I don't want to say for sure that they're going to do it, because I don't like to to say things if they're not true, or like get y'all excited about it, and then it's like, oh, sorry guys, I was wrong. So I kind of like to not say anything unless it's like for sure confirmed type of stuff, so... I want to give you guys bad information. Alright, so we got two motors to fix up here. So hopefully we'll get a whole motor out of one of these. Out of all these parts anyway. Got two carbs that look like. Definitely what we needed. Oh, I think we got a block as well. So that's a good start. Yeah, I think we got two blocks and heads there. That was pretty sweet. All right, so we're gonna have to go in here and uh, it's not gonna let us, you know, just build the two car. We have to actually go into create engine and build it. 
Uh, so we have to select it. So we'll go to this one. And uh, as you can see here, it's got 390 horsepower, 501 foot-pounds of torque, and the 6P that we're going to put into the uh, Daytona. And then as you see here, it's 380 horsepower, 531 foot-pounds of torque, and the supercharged. So pretty much the same power, almost. And then the one carb that was in the Stingray was 291, 390 foot-pounds. And we'll put the two carb in, which has 330 horsepower, 427. So a little bump of power. So it's pretty nice. Uh, so I need to actually click on it again because I forgot I moved out of it. All right, let's get started on this one, guys. We should have a lot of parts. Got two blocks. That's great. So we'll have that block and this king crankshaft. Uh, oh, and the camshaft. Oh, almost another engine right there. That's pretty sweet. Let's see, we probably have quite a few of these crankshaft bearing cap. Oh, we got all three. Nice. We're gonna have like one full motor almost out of this. These two engines. And since we're building the 6P basically from the ground up. We don't really need to worry about saving parts because we don't even have any of those. So we'll definitely need pistons and rings because we can't repair those. I already know that ahead of time. I'm not even going to check. But maybe if we do repair them, we'll just use them for another build. There we go. That's it. That's the ticket. I know a lot of you guys in the comments have said that you're liking this series, and I'm definitely enjoying it. So we're going to keep this rolling, guys. We're just going to keep it going. Keep the good times going. Yeah, so we didn't fix the rings at all, or the pistons. They're still yellow. So certain parts you can fix, others you can't. Seems to be like the cheaper parts always in the the ones that you can fix, so it's like almost not saving you any money at all. Except for the block and the heads, that's, that's a pretty pricey thing for the motor. But if you have a good uh, repair percentage or chance, then you can uh, pick them up in the barns like you guys saw in the last episode and uh, fix them up and use them for your projects or sell them for a profit. So I think we spent like $1,000 on parts that we picked up out of the barn. Oh, we didn't fix the oil pans. Either one of them. That's crazy. And uh, we turned it around for like a profit of like $2,800. But I just kept the stuff. There it is. I didn't know I backed all the way out like that. That's crazy. Uh, we need an oil filter too. Oh, that's right. I was already in here. <laughs> Duh. Alright. Moving right along here, guys. Should have both heads at least. We got three of them. That's pretty good. We at least got one head for another build. Coming along. I only have one of those then. Alright, so we we'll probably don't have one of those. Okay. Uh, go manifold so I can get both the exhaust and the intake. Uh, so we need that one, and then we need the two carb. So we're adding extra power to this sucker. Oh, that's right. We probably have two carbs. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I'm talking about. Took both carbs, fixed them on both engines, and used them on one. I might have one of those in the warehouse. I 
All right, let's see if we fix the coil. Probably got two of them. Both alternators, sweet. Usually fix that. And the steering pump should be fixed. Yep, both of them. Nope, we're gonna need one of those, I figured. Never fix those. I don't think the distributor we can fix. Okay, so we need a uh, fuel filter cam gear. Distributor. Might have the cap and the rotor though. A weird angle here. Yep, fix that. Cool. I don't think we can fix the clips. Oh, we can. That's cool. <laughs> That's interesting. We can flip, fix, flicks, fix, kip, fix clips. Yeah. You know. Looks like I do that on purpose every time. Fuel filter. And then a cam and a timing gear. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we probably have the timing cover. Yep. Got one of them. Probably a water pump? Yeah. Look at that just repair and all that. Need the pulleys probably. I'm betting. Uh, this one. Oh wait, water pump. Ugh. Pretty sure we don't fix those. Yep. Belt B, eight OHV, and A. You guys probably know as well as I do how to put these engines together since we've done two of them so far. Actually three, because we did the supercharger. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Radiator fan big OHB. Uh, let's see. There we go. Alright. Alright. Now we, all we have is the valve cover. Well, the valves, the rocker arms, and the valve covers. Oops. So it wouldn't be a bad thing if we bought too many, because then we'd have extra... Never can have too many of these. Okay, let's get started on the valves. There we go, that's better. Zoom in a little bit. Nice when you put the valve push rods, the camera doesn't move. And the rocker arms. Probably have both covers fixed by between the two engines. Oh wait, they only had the A side on both, so we'll probably need a B side, I'm guessing. Checking to see what, how much time we have left here. Uh, we're about 25 minutes almost. Yep, we need a B1. 
knew it. I knew it. Oops. We might be able to pull this off here. Uh, let's see. Like intense music right now it's like focus you can do it you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it come on you can do it you can complete the engine yes you can do it okay that's enough <laughs> It kind of makes me think of the old games like the Age of Empires, like when you're building like the cities and stuff together and then trying to gather resources and all that stuff like that. So that way you can attack the other, the other people. Okay, we just need spark plugs. Got through that. I think that... 6P motor would be a little easier. I don't think we have to do all those push rods and stuff. I might be wrong about that though. Sniffle. Alright. Over here. There we go. That's how you do it. Pretty sure we need to buy these, yep. Okay, so that should be everything except for the the cover go with carb that should get us set yep not even gonna check the warehouse just gonna buy them put them on here it's quicker all right guys we have got it completed let's get this in the stingray Oop, install. There it is. All right, so we got that done. Let's get the gearbox on it real quick. Oh, that's right, I need a flywheel. Yeah, maybe I should have just bought two of them. There we go. We'll need it for the other car, too. I don't know. I could have just put two instead of doing that. Oh, we had three of them. Okay, so we got extra, We got plenty of extras for future projects. I know we have gearboxes fixed. I did that. Yeah. I don't know about starters and drive shafts though. We got one of them. And the drive shaft in there. V8 OHVA. There it is, that was quick. Right. There is the car together. We just need to do rims and tires. 
Okay, since we got that all together and all it needs is rims and tires, let's get started on the 6P motor. So we're going to need to create engine, V8 OHV 6P. We'll get us the block here. We'll get this motor started. It'll be the V8 OHV C. There we go, that's what we needed. It's all orange, just like the Hemi's look. Alright. So we need some shafts. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm trying to remember what it was. Get used to building one motor and then you forget how to do the other one. Yeah, these are just the regular pistons. That's right, we don't have any of those. We have rod caps. We might have, well, I think we'll definitely pull this off, guys. I think we're going to do good here. I don't know if we're going to be able to drive both of them, though, but we'll definitely get the engines in them. So that's the, kind of the goal I was after. I thought, hmm, that'd be a fun thing to tear down two engines and build two engines at the same time on one episode. I'm probably not going to do this every time. <laughs> This is a lot to do, but just a little special for uh, 4th of July. Um, not sure which push rods we need. If we need the F or the regulars, probably just the regulars. We'll get to the bearing cabs. Yeah. You know. I think this even has a different gearbox. I'll have to get one of those too. Alright, so. Is this gonna work? Yeah, it works. Sometimes you can get away with just two letters. I don't know why I thought I was going to have that. I don't remember what oil filter it is, though. Might just be the regular V8. Yeah, so the oil filter is over here. It is a V8, okay. So there's little differences in them. And then the engine head A, V8, O8, V, and B. So A and B heads. You gotta be careful not to buy two of the same ones. Looking snazzy. At least it's got some color to it. And you guys are probably going to ask if we can uh, paint the engine parts as well, but I'm pretty sure they don't have that uh, mod or anything on the computer, so it wouldn't be on 
the console unless they decide to change it up or something. You can only paint like body parts separately. You can't uh, paint uh, the motor parts or anything. So you're kind of stuck with the color it is. Oh, I already was there. Um, oh, it's exhaust manifold. That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> Not the intake. There we go. Moving along. Okay, let's get some spark plugs up in here. Oh yeah, don't forget, if you're uh, cooking burgers or uh, hot dogs or steaks or something, it's probably time to flip them. They might actually be done or burned even by this point. <laughs> so, you might want to go check on that if you haven't. If you're grilling or something, so. You might be distracted. Maybe grabbing a, another beer if you're out. Uh, let's see. Oh, so it is the V8 OHF valve push rods. Okay, good thing I checked. So, still the same 16. We gotta use the different ones though, because we, now we've used all the valve push rods that they have in the catalog or shop. Getting focused on this, can you tell? <laughs> there we go. Oh wait, oh wait, okay, we just need the rocker arms. See, that's what's really nice about this. We don't have to do all the rocker arms. We can just do this right here. Same with the V8 OHVG engine as well, which is nice. It's just like boom and then put three bolts in it and it's done cover a actually I should probably buy another one of those um because we'll need it that should be this one and that's the other side we'll just get the other side too Oh, I forgot to put oil in the other one, huh? And the stingray, I'll have to do that. That's what I forgot. We did put a starter in it, yeah? I think so. Getting there, getting close. All right, got distributor ignition stuff. I'm hearing fireworks starting already. Uh, let's see. Distributor, probably have the other two, maybe the cap too. Yep, we got that. And the cap. So that was kind of useful to have those.
So it's the V8 OHVD ignition wires because we got the fancy distributor that's kind of tilted to the side, all cool like it is. All right, so we need a cam gear. It's pretty much just the same one as the other motors. Yeah. Oh, it's the F on the timing cover, or the timing chain. Yeah, this one right here. And the timing cover, this one. V8 OHV and V8 OH water pump C. Pretty easy match, just this one color. Uh, oh, pulley. I think it was this one, right? Yeah, okay. I forgot the water pulley. Whoops. Oh, that's right, we have these arms. B and A. Pretty easy to find. So what's nice about the orange color on it, you can just be like, oh, there it is. Can't even miss them. Oh, the I6B alternator, okay. There's just subtle little differences here and there. Oh, it's the V8 OHVF pump. Um, why am I not seeing this? Power steering, power steering, power... Oh, here it is. <laughs> Duh. It's like, I know it's here. I did check the right thing. It's gotta be here, man. <laughs> yeah, I might be hearing some fireworks going off here a little bit. Freaking the dogs out and stuff. Uh, V8OHCC built... that one and then the B there we go ah. yep there it is radiator fan B we'll get a fuel filter and then we'll need that and then I'll go to carbs. Oops. Oh, we have one of those. That's good. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to find one of those. That's right. Fuel filter is just hovering over back here. And then this is interesting. We have a carburetor cv 8 ohve Carburetor B V8 OHE and carburetor C. So we need two C's and one B. Uh, two C's and then the one B. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Oh, we had one. No, wait. That's right, because we need two of them. Duh. It's like, oh, yeah, we repaired it. It's like, from what? We didn't even have the motor. What are you talking about? Air filter base. Hmm. 
motoring along it's this one right here and then we need this filter and then where's the top um yeah where's the top to the oh here it is <laughs> duh so it's all chrome okay that should be it pretty much right i got everything yeah look at us go all right Let's take this off. Let's slap it in the car. And move this over. Install. Get rid of it. Send it back. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that looks awesome. It looks like a Hemi in there. It's not though. We can imagine it is. So we don't have the updates yet. We'll just imagine it's a Hemi. It's because it's orange. Yeah, forgot we had all those parts. Yeah, <laughs> that is an easy build in the gearbox. That's crazy. I even have one of those. Cool. So we need V8 OHVF gearbox. There it is. A V8 starter. I know we don't have one of those. There it is. And we probably need a drive shaft. Yep. There we go. And V8 OHVA. Should be those two. Yeah. Oh, I'm still missing a part of the exhaust here. Front exhaust section uh V A O H E D okay here it is definitely what gives it its signature sound all right it's all done guys let's get her down Sweet. So we have the V8 OHV 6P in our Daytona. We've got our two carb V8 in our Corvette. That's worth 44,812 with 3360 bonus. We've got 56,3368 with a 4,227 bonus. That's pretty nice. Um, so we got those done and we've got a little time left guys. We got through that pretty fast. Uh, so we'll, uh, probably just put tires on the Corvette like new ones and then I'll just leave these old ones and we can fix those later and then we can just drive both cars that way. Sounds like a plan. Cause this always takes a while to get tires. So, Rim Retro 0315. Let's keep them stock. Wait, what was it again? Rim Retro 03. Okay, Rim Retro 03. We can do all the fancy rims and stuff later on when we can do all the paint shop and whatnot. Oh, here it is, right there. Yeah, let's we'll do that. I was gonna do the black ones, but. We've already got a white one, so screw it. Um, yeah, we'll separate that because we need new tires. Should have checked what tire size it was. That would have been smart. Okay. 
Oh no. Okay. Maybe it goes back this way so I can get out of that. Proto, I'm gonna have to go through all these parts. <laughs> this is clear amount. Okay, two, 225, 225, 60, 225, 60, 225, 60. 225, 60. Stop doing that. Here we go. Okay. Was it 25560? Now I don't remember. Hang on. <laughs> 22560, okay. 22560. Those would have been pretty fat tired. There we go. Okay, so let's get these on here quick. What the heck? How did that happen? I swore I, I did the right ones, didn't I? What the heck? Um, that's weird. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to put them on there. It's going to look hilarious. But we're just going to put them on there and drive it. I don't know what happened. I swore I got the right sizes, but it made them like super tiny. I'm pretty sure I got the right sizes, so that might be like another weird glitch or something on it. This ought to look hilarious. This is gonna be funny as heck. <laughs> Literally just a rim on it. That'll just be fun. We'll get the regular tires that we're supposed to have on it later. <laughs> Looks great. Uh, I wanted to do funny rims and tires. It's definitely a good way to start out with it. Whatever. <laughs> this will look pretty funny. Yep, there's a firework. They're going to be shooting them off quite a lot tonight. And tomorrow. I like to do it right by my window, too. So... I get like a free show on the 4th of July, man. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, this is going to look hilarious. Yeah, look at that. Vintage. That was amazing. I'm just going to go with it. I don't care. You want better tires? Put them on yourself. You got nice new rims? I don't know what you're complaining about. It's a low rider. It's got a low ring kit on it. You gotta put airbags in it. Yeah. I just want to see how low to the ground this sits because the tires are so small. <laughs> and how well it drives just because of it. Okay, let's take this for a drive. This is going to be funny. Uh, let's go to the racetrack. And we'll take the Corvette. Um, leaf spring plate. Gosh, dang it. I can't believe I did that. Where's the plate at? Oh, I didn't do this side. Okay. My bad, guys. Seems like I always have to do this. We did it in the Jeep Willys. Now we're doing it on this one. Well, I obviously bought the parts for it or had them. I just didn't put them on. I always like to forget this part. But I got the other side for some reason. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, that's right. I forgot oil. Dang it. You guys are supposed to remind me of that. Come on. You guys are screwing up. It's all your fault. <laughs> no, it's mine. It's pretty stupid. There we go. 
That's that's how you get that little piece taken off. Those tires, it's great. <laughs> okay, now we can do it. <laughs> I better put oil in the Daytona before we drive it too. Okay, let's go. There we go. All right, guys, let's see how silly this looks. See how much of a low rider. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna just scrape exhaust. It's gonna be amazing. Woo! Yeah, we're like literally scraping the exhaust right now. Woo! That's what we call uh oh! <laughs> That's what we call weight reduction right there in the tires. That's how we're gonna go faster. Ridiculous. Boy, it gives it some really good, you know, bounce to it when you do this with the tires. You want to get some good air and jumps off of it, do it like this with the tires and the rims. Oh, crud. Messed up that corner. Oh my gosh, I need to get actually better at driving on these tracks. I can't drift it, doesn't have the power. Alright, let's see what speed we can get here, guys. It really handles really well, though. I'm not even, like, spinning out. Oh, it's hitting the, the peak speed here at 96, apparently. Got an achievement, Racer Boy. Oh, we finished a lap in under a minute. That was pretty good. All right, so let's go back to the shop, guys. That was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, guys, back in the shop. So that was pretty hilarious. Looks pretty funny to see it like that with the tires and everything. But uh, worth quite a bit. 46191 and 346 four for a bonus. Nice. Let's go ahead and sell that car guys made about 50 grand right there yeah not too shabby let's take out the daytona now and i'll show you guys what the engine sounds like and since it has so much power just like oh that's right i forgot engine oil oh gosh i'm so bad about that <laughs> just think if i had a car and i fixed it up and everything i would destroy the engine in a second because i'd always forget to put oil in there it's the most important thing. <laughs> There's the fireworks. That's what I'm talking about. Happy 4th of July, guys. All right, let's go take this Daytona and do some burnouts. So it's got pretty much the same power as the uh, supercharger. If I hadn't said that already. All right, guys, you can hear the motor humming. It'll be a different sound. Yeah, it's like a race engine. Oh, maybe we can't do bon burnouts with it. Should have the same kind of torque though. Maybe it's just cause it's, I don't know, weird. I can't do burnouts in it. That sucks. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, though. There we go. Now we broke her loose for a second. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Just needed a little encouragement. Because it's this uh, car is such a big boat, not small like the fastback, I guess. But we couldn't get a good burnout going yet, but now we got the tires loose. Yeah. Woo! 
<laughs> Happy Fourth of July, guys! Yeah. I love the way that sounds. It's pretty awesome. Get that wall of smoke going again. All right, let's go back to the garage. <laughs> Good time. All right, guys, back in the shop. We got the RX-7. We'll build some other cars as we're done, but this Daytona is freaking badass. We've got two motors we built and got together. So happy 4th of July, guys. Definitely leave a like, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and get notified when my new videos are going to be up midnight every day. See you guys in the next video.